Yo, what is up, guys? Joker bringing you another video for the 3.25 Settlers of Calgary League. I wanted to go ahead and bring up uh, shipping since Thaumaturgic Dust got recently reworked by GGG in what was stated to be a buff. Um, I'm not really seeing how, uh, I went ahead and I was doing my previous test that I mentioned where I was sending out the shipments of the, um, right? The 1,900, so, right? The same shipment to see like if it really was a buff and TLDR, all it seems like they really buffed is the encounter rate. Like, my ships were getting invaded by the pirate a lot. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's technically a buff, but my map runners were also dying a lot. So I don't know if they buffed events in general of like the bad outcomes happening because they hate us or something. But and while I was testing it on the previous video that I uploaded, a uh, commenter mentioned, hey, uh, I found out that it seems to be like a one to one to double it. And I'm like, no shot, dude. I'm like, there's no way they fucking did that because thaumaturgic dust was extremely expensive right like uh, i'm going to show you a couple of examples but this is what people would previously send 200 of each bar a thousand of each crop and 8200 thaumaturgic dust giving you a shipment value of 130k and you'd send it send it to remen fell or nanakanu right um with a shipment value of 130k you're not gonna get shit um what you're gonna get back 90 percent of the time is going to be just pure gumball currency right it's barely gonna contain chaos and that's what i saw in my 30 shipments is i was barely getting like two or three chaos there was some one-off situations where i would get like seven chaos but it's you were getting significantly nerfed amount of loot and then after this comment i wanted to go ahead and take a look so we set up a couple of options here and i'm going to tell you the one that i kind of i guess recommend right so we have the previous one where it's the 130k you're not really sending very much resources but you're almost getting literally nothing in return so by some miracle once again it is a pure slot machine you can somehow pull like maybe a mirror shard out of it somehow the odds are probably super fucking low like one in the hundred thousands though um and then we have my next example, right? Where it it's what you would have to send to get the same amount that, well, not the same amount, a little bit less than what you were getting. And that's sending 150% of your total shipment value as thaumaturgic dust to go ahead and get like a 1.5 multiplier with like, largely diminishing returns because if i tried to boost this up to 36 it would be sending almost 500k dust but um to get one and a half i only have to send 183 so i figured that's much more efficient than sending almost 500k dust because 500k dust at this point in the economy is like 100c so yeah it's pretty fucking crazy um for one shipment right because chances are you're not going to get your money back at all so that's why i've decided to go ahead and go with like the 1.5 and you seem to be getting uh relatively good returns i've tested this a couple times and i have gotten a couple of divines from this it's just extremely expensive on dust as of right now, it's like a one in seven that I would get a divine from this. Um, so it's still not the best. Um, and then we have the third strategy, which is more just like static numbers. Um, 
kind of borrow stolen uh, from Cute Dog, right? Where he was sending 250 of each bar, 1,000 of each crop, and 150K dust. And he did pull a mirror shard, um, but this and this are like relatively even, right? So you could really decide whichever one you would like to run. But the main point of this video is to draw attention to the fact that this is not a buff. There's no sugar coating it. I don't know why they would say this. Um, in almost all cases, this is a buff from before. No, it's not. Thaumaturgic dust was working. It was multiplying the quantity and quality of loot we were getting. Uh, they just weren't happy with it, I guess. Uh, so they nerfed it and phrased it as a buff. So that's just crazy in my opinion that they would phrase it that way. Um, shipping is still a disappointment in my opinion. Like I previously mentioned, you're better off just not doing it and running your mappers. Um, recombination is pretty cool. You, you have to know like a decent amount about previous recombination, um, a lot of the roles have changed, but as long as you remember like that same base concept from before, like you can make some interesting items where I was like trying to make sure that I got res, life, movement, speed, and spell suppression on boots. And then how uh, I was forcing a resistance and life onto a pair of gloves until I got the T3, uh, the three T1 so, uh, reses and the life. And then I just recently made a ring uh, where I did a forcing life with the crit essence mod with chaos res, which is what I really needed. Um, and I've hit a couple of other interesting things is the way that I'll phrase it, but it does the odds are significantly less than what they were previously. Like, um, I went ahead and I slammed together a new helmet here real quick as well. Is it the best thing ever? No, but was it super easy to make? Yes. So for like solid middle tier items, recombination actually is really strong, right? I was able to go ahead and say, okay, I want suppression. I want chaos res and I want life. And then the lightning res actually came from me slamming with an exalt. So but yeah, that's pretty much this uh, end of this video. I'm kind of disappointed that shipping got nerfed instead of buffed. I, I am pretty depressed about that. Uh, I feel like they should have phrased it as, hey, it's too rewarding, I guess, uh, even though it wasn't. And uh, they nerfed it uh, because it is heavily nerfed like majority of the time if you are sending small shipments like this one you're going to be getting back fusings and shit you're, you're not going to be getting back good currency let me see actually no i already reset my wealthy exile from the tab it was tracking let me see if i could pull it back up real quick to show you like some of the loot that i was getting and see if it still shows or if it already refreshed. Okay, no, it didn't, right? So this is the type of loot that we were getting. We got 53C out of the 30 shipments, and we got a river ruin, we got a life ruin, but majority of what we got was literally junk, right? It was unsellable junk. I know that this says 1.8 div, but no, at this stage in the league, I don't need hundreds or thousands of augs and fucking transmutes, right? So disappointed, but uh, here's to hoping that they'll go ahead and fix it. Uh, one more thing. Be careful with your top ship. I don't know what's going on right now, uh, but I... Out of the 30 shipments, uh, about four or five of my top ship just disappeared, right? It, it didn't get abducted. It didn't get crashed. It just, it came back with nothing without completing the voyage, right? So I don't know what's up with that because it ate my resources. It just never gave me anything. 
And map runners seem to be dying a lot more frequently. That's why I have mine off right now is uh, I've lost probably four T10 map runners in the day since um, they updated it. And there's a 1% fail chance. So, um, and, and I've seen a lot of people lose it as well. So I don't know how these are buffs. These are not buffs. I'm sorry. But hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care.